Hi all, this is Rosie Snow. I am making this video today because it has come to my attention that folks up at the detention center in Farmville are going on hunger strike because the coronavirus is starting to spread there and um, they're begging to be released, begging to be protected. Um, and I know we've been talking a lot about self-care and how important that is right now, resisting the urge to do a million things and be, be really productive. But at the same time, when our neighbors are in such distress that they have to go on hunger strike in order to get our attention, I think it's time for us to um, come home to some of the most powerful scriptures that guide our lives as Christians. So right now I want to, to read um, one of the most powerful messages that Christ shares with us and then ask you all to do one simple thing. So this is the scripture from Matthew 25. All the nations will be gathered before him and he will separate people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats and he will put the sheep at his right hand and the goats at the left. Then the king will say to those at his right hand, come, you that are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger and you welcomed me. I was naked and you gave me clothing. I was sick and you took care of me. I was in prison and you visited me. These words tell us the standard that we are expected to meet as Christians and really as human beings. It's not something cute that, that Jesus just says to be funny. Um, this, this is the word, this is the standard. And, um, it should be very alive to us right now in this moment of history that we're living through. Um, there's a way that we can support our beloved community members who are in that detention center right now, refusing to eat in order to, to save themselves. Um, the, um, Charlottesville, Immigrant Freedom Fund has shared some numbers that we can call um, and just simply say, people are on hunger strike, release them. This isn't safe. This isn't right. So um, I will share those numbers at the end of this video. Right now, I'm just going to demonstrate how easy it is to do this. So I am calling the, the field director of ICE, and this is I, you can see in my phone that I have numbers for ICE in a particular category, just like I have um, the numbers of all my representatives organized by whether they're senators or representatives. Okay, field director ICE, call. Okay, so the number for the ICE field office just rang and rang and rang without any option to leave a message. However, I was able to leave a message for the assistant field office director, James Mullen, and I was able to leave a uh, message for the Farmville um, director, Mark Graham. So I will share those numbers here. And I'm also going to call uh, Governor Northam, whose name is also oops, in my... Uh, in my phone. So this will just give you a sense of how simple it is to do this. Hi, my name is Rosie Snow and I'm a constituent of um, the governor. And um, I'm calling because people are on hunger strike at the Farmville Detention Center. Um, they're fighting for their lives because the coronavirus is spreading there. And I just want to let you know that as a Christian and as a human being, this isn't okay with me. And I'd like for you to call on um, ICA Farmville to, to release those prisoners. Um, we can't subject people to this sort of uh, nightmare scenario. It's just not Christian. It's not right. 
Thank you. So making those three calls took maybe three minutes. Uh, tip when you call Governor Northam, there's a really long message now. So just uh, hit two when the voice recorder goes on. You can just talk to someone or, or leave your message for the governor. So my hope is that 10 of you will do what I just did, um, at least 10 of you, and and just keep spreading the word and following Jesus that's all we can really do right now, right? So thank you and do take care and continue to practice self-care and rest and heal and listen. May God be with you for the rest of this week. Thank you.